Okay, so everyone, today we're going to make an unboxing video. I got this from Shopee for 2,600 pesos. It's an orbital sander or finishing sander from Skill. Okay, with the Explo no filter dust collection system. But first, the one that's making the meowing sound is this one. Okay, so let's get back on track. Now, as you can see, they even place project here bubble wrap, but apparently it still suffered some mishandling during shipment. See, I hope everything is okay inside. So let's open this up. So skill 280 watts orbital sander. This is everything that's inside the box. We've got two. One in English and one in Chinese or should I say Mandarin. We've got sanding paper or sandpaper all in 120 grit. One with a velcro padding and two that is ordinary. We've got a vacuum cleaner attachment or adapter and then we've got a paper punch or paper puncher. We've got the Explo dust collection system and we've got the sander itself. Let me provide you with a much more closer look of the sander itself, okay? It's nice actually, it's very light, okay? We'll weigh that in a second. This is rubber, it's got a very nice feeling to it, okay? It's very sticky, so it's a non-slip, I'll show you, see? It tends to stick, see that? We've got the switch here, on-off switch here, and then we've got the adjustment for the variable speed here. So very convenient, very ergonomic and then I will just want to show you this see it suffers some shipment damage to some extent this is actually disappointing but I'm not actually worried because I can always replace this with just a plain rubber pad and replace this velcro and this is one of the reasons why I chose this kind of design of sander instead of something like this because with this design you don't always have to go with a velcro sanding paper you can always use the clip itself and just use an ordinary sanding paper let's try to install that hold on let's start at the back okay lift that up place that there hold on then clamp that in place fold okay why are you fighting then insert that as best you can and then clip that in place and see very easy now the advantage with this type of design as far as i'm concerned is that you can always use an ordinary sheet of sanding paper i'll show you see this is just a plain sanding paper and then you can just divide this by three and cut that like that you see with just a single sheet of sandpaper i have three of these so very convenient and this is also the reason why they provided us with this. It is a paper puncher in order to punch holes. Let's punch those holes. And the reason for that is it is through these holes that it's going to vacuum all the sawdust and through here and into this dust collection system. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out because that is one of the reasons why I chose this sander. And also I wanted it to have a variable speed. Here we've got skill 220, 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz, 280 watts, 7,000 to 13,000 RPM made in China. So let's take some measurements. Let's weigh this thing and measure the cord. This thing weighs at 1.3 kilos. Don't, don't, <laughs> sorry about that. Cord length from here to here is, I would say, see i would say nine feet let me plug this in and conduct initial testing okay let's turn it on and this is low speed number one let's increase speed number two number three number four number five number six Number six is top speed, okay? By the way, before we test this, let me show you a much more closer look of the Explo Dash Collection system, okay? You can lift that through here and 
open this up and it's actually nice it's got a rubber seal on here see and for us to stick this onto our sander it's very easy just line that notch there and just push it in so let's test this and let's see if we can sand it until we can get rid of that pencil line okay let's try low speed first let's try if that will work actually low speed is very low let's try two let's try three okay so i think three is good enough see something that's actually very nice actually one is not that got no power you see it's still working it's just it's too slow so it doesn't work two is still too slow it's not that it's got no power but it's just too slow three and there we go see turning white now very nice just like ironing clothes let me try increase speed number four let me try and increase speed number five that's even better Let's go top speed, number six. Very, very nice, okay. Very effortless. Let's try the other side. Top speed. See, it turned white almost immediately. Let me try to record this in this angle, okay? Let's see if we can see this dust collection system in action. Let's just try. How about let's try sanding the edge, okay? Let's try to see how much dust it was able to collect, okay? Let's try to, if we can, okay? And this is the problem. If you've got very big fingers, you won't be able to do that. You should really pull the entire dust assembly out. And that is the amount of dust that we were able to collect, even with this just light sanding, see? And this is also one of the reasons why I chose a sander that must have a dust collection system because i know even with this dust collection system it would still be able to produce a lot of dust you see that now imagine a sander that doesn't have a dust collection system all this dust is going to be just flying around now i already actually bought a finishing sander years ago maybe i bought this more than a decade ago and the motor actually still works but unfortunately this fell you see it cracked and the base was made of aluminum and the base cracked and I was not able to find a replacement for it so this was junk and the cord I just recently used this as a replacement cord for my angle grinder now this base is made of plastic now maybe that is a good thing maybe that is a bad thing but I would say it's a good thing to some extent because this is plastic and this is going to be 
a little bit lighter than aluminum and as i've said earlier i wanted a sander with a variable speed control because this doesn't have one now a variable speed control just provides you with a little bit more control than one that doesn't have one see light sanding and if you want to be more aggressive speed up So let me try and operate this without the dust collection system okay just so i can show you how the dust is sucked from here and out through here let's see if that will be able to be captured by the camera i hope you can see that but it's actually both going out through here so this by itself is already actually a vacuum cleaner see those fins inside the motor turns that turns and it sucks the dust from here and out to here but be that as it may let's try putting on a vacuum cleaner let's see so this is supposed to be the vacuum cleaner adapter let's try that there and let's see like that doesn't work let me try removing this okay okay still doesn't work let's try to pull that out let's try to unscrew this Let's see. Hold on. Let me try and stick this hose inside there. Hmm. Not working. If only this would fit here that would be perfect i don't know maybe my vacuum cleaner or the hose for that matter is not just compatible with this one even with the adapter so i don't know maybe if you have better ideas let me know in the comments below but this pipe right here fits and let's try that okay so let me turn the vacuum cleaner on and let's turn it on trying to use it like this so anyway i just wanted to show you that i actually do not have any intentions of using this with a vacuum cleaner attached to this thing okay as far as i'm concerned this will do i don't mind a little dust just not too much dust okay and i would just like to point out okay with all that sanding i am still yet to feel any increase of temperature on the body actually i cannot even say it's warm so very very nice as far as i'm concerned so just in case you're curious or interested with the sandpaper with the velcro pad let's try that too okay let me pull this out very easy put that clip back on there let's put the sandpaper with a velcro padding and let's try that <laughs> It's got a more bite to it because it's a 120 grit. See? Very, very nice. So anyway, I do believe that's all that there is to show. This is the skill orbital sander 280 watts with the x-flow dust collection system now before i'll end this video i would just like to say okay i do not advertise for this product i'm not affiliated or associated with skills nor am i associated or affiliated with any sellers online that sells this item i bought this with my own money so i bought this because i have some upcoming projects i'll be uploading videos of that too okay but for this video i'm going to end it here i hope you liked it I hope you found this helpful if you do let me know in the comments below like share subscribe if you want to only if you want to and as always thank you for watching